I just recently made a video about mental health ethics. So with all this better help online therapy scam stuff going around, it's time for me to get really honest with you about these services. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. So I try to help you out with your mental health. I try to educate and increase awareness and decrease the stigma. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So I should be getting ready to go to sleep. This is video number three today, but those of you who know me, those of you who know me, you know that once I get this idea in my head, it's like, ugh, I just gotta do it. And I don't know, like I made two videos today and then people started messaging me and sending me, tweeting at me about better help, better help, better help. And then I saw Philip DeFranco talking about it. I'll dive into that in a second. But I saw some stuff about better help the other day and I was like, what's this dumb stuff? So there's this small channel memeology and I saw one of his videos, I think it was about H3H3, and that was kind of ridiculous in and of itself. Then somebody linked me another video by Andrew something. I just watched that. And by the way, by the way, people <laughs> people talking about Shane being too, too dramatic in his Jake Paul series, like, go watch this guy Andrew's video. Like, this guy is super dramatic. God damn. I have to expose this. And also, I need to tell people that have promoted this site that they need to speak up immediately, like now, because this is sketchy. And if they know what I know, but now are being hush hush, come on now, you're gonna have to speak up. You can't just pretend that this didn't exist because what this website is, is disgusting. All right, but um, full disclosure, Full disclosure, okay? I'm gonna try to do this in the best way possible. Full disclosure, I have an affiliate link with BetterHelp. It's down in my description. I usually pin it in the comments, all that kind of stuff. So you might see some bias, but like, here's, here's the thing. I have always prided myself with being extremely honest. I've been in the mental health field for over three years now. I worked at a mental health treatment center. We specialize in dual diagnosis, so people who had addictions as well as a mental illness. And a compliment that I would receive is that people liked that I was real with them. Like, I have no problem. I have absolutely no problem saying like, hey, this is messed up, like, that's just me. And I know I have a lot of new subscribers, so some of you, you're gonna have to build your trust with me, and I get that. But I had to speak up about this better help stuff because it is so ridiculous when it comes, like, I'm so passionate about mental health and people getting help, like, this just kind of infuriates me when people detour others from getting the help that they need. And I should have written down some notes, but this is gonna be kind of rant style. So the first thing, like I mentioned like what PewDiePie said the other day, like one thing I take issue with is when, like as a mental health advocate, I take issue with people making this like idea that like, oh, you're taking advantage of the mentally ill by charging them from services. Like, trust me, there are a ton of people that take advantage of people with mental illnesses, but like, like, wow, like, give these people some credit. Like, give us some credit. I am somebody who struggles with mental illness. Like, I'm not this helpless little baby who can't make decisions on my own. Like, we have to pay for services. So, something that this guy brought up was how expensive BetterHelp is. I almost rolled over laughing just so hard. So, let me tell you this. Um, I don't promote anything that I don't believe in. That's a fact. My girlfriend uses BetterHelp. One of my other really good friends uses better help. And why would I have these people, these people very close to me in my life, use this if it was awful, right? Like my, I've mentioned it before, my girlfriend has an absolutely amazing therapist and has made leaps and strides in her mental health. And she was already doing pretty well, but like this has helped tremendously. So like, but saying that it's expensive, like are you nuts? Like go, I, I think one of the issues is, is the lack of awareness about mental illness. Like if any of you have ever seen a therapist outside of better help or whatever, leave comments down below if you would like about how much it is, okay? Like, like therapists charge insane amounts of money, like a ton of money. That's one of the reasons I advocate for better help because it's cheap and affordable. Some therapists charge what better help is or more. There's some 
therapists that are charging 100, 150, 200 plus dollars per hour. So this Andrew guy who's talking about like how expensive it is, you are out of your damn mind, all right? So, okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing about BetterHelp. So some people are trying to point out like um, this Andrew guy did about like in their in their fine print that says they can't guarantee, you know, da 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 um, the quality of the therapists. Let's take a look at the fine print, shall we? We make no representation or warranty whatsoever as to whether you will find the counselor services relevant, useful, correct, relevant, they say relevant twice, satisfactory or suitable to your needs. So here's what you need to understand, okay? So if any of you are looking to make extra money on the side, I still write for a website called Text Broker, textbroker.com, okay? I will link it down in the description. Um, basically, it's for freelance writers. I actually used to work with this for this company before I started working at the treatment center, but now I just freelance write for them, okay? I make a decent amount of money every month does freelance writing. So basically what text broker is, they are the middleman. They are the middle person, okay? So you have clients and then you have authors. So you have clients who have websites or social media accounts and they need stuff written because people don't know how to write. So what text broker does is it links the clients up with authors who can write and supply this service. BetterHelp is the same exact thing. BetterHelp is just a middle middleman. They are linking therapists up with people. Therapists with people. Now, they do a vetting process. So like, for example, just to, just to go even deeper on this, um, my girlfriend's experience. So they link you, I don't know how this works in other countries, so I'm just gonna talk about the United States. They link you up with a licensed therapist in your state because licensure is a big deal. So my girlfriend was actually very fortunate. The therapist that she was linked up with, not only is she from our state, she's from Las Vegas. And my girlfriend has been able to meet with the therapist in person, all right? So so yeah, this, this guy says, you know, um, he tries to point out that they can't guarantee, like, yeah, because a lot of that is like subjective, you know what I mean? It's subjective about linking you up with the right person, but most of the time, yes, like, there are therapists who specialize in trauma or addiction or, uh, you know, borderline personality disorder or depression or anxiety or certain therapies like dialectical behavioral therapy or, um, cognitive behavioral therapy. So this specialized, uh, this makes that person specialize in that area. So they try to match you up the best as they can. But in order to cover their butt, they say like, we can't guarantee it. So they try their best. They try their absolute best too. Now, the other thing is I've read some comments, like I think in my last video about Katie Morton, I asked people to leave comments down below about bad therapists or unethical therapists. And I remember this one comment, I'm gonna put it on the screen if I can. But she talked about like, she found a great psychiatrist and then she went through like eight therapists. Like, yeah, I've been meaning to make a video. I, I really, I, do any of you watch that show Atypical on Netflix? It's an amazing show. But there's one episode that I wanna kinda talk about where he goes through the process of finding the right therapist. Like sometimes you just don't click with somebody. Like that's, that's it. But like this like exposing better health thing, it is just bananas. It's like, so one thing I will say, and this is gonna come off like extremely biased, but like you sign up for a seven day trial and there's like things coming out like, oh, they bill you and like, the, this guy said they billed them before they had a chance to cancel. Like, did they bill them at five days? Did they bill them at six days? I haven't watched all of Memologies, but like, I don't know, for me, that's personal responsibility. Do you know how many free trials I sign up for? I take my phone, this little phone right here, and I set a reminder for like three or four days before to remind me to cancel the services. That's on me. Like, I don't know, I take responsibility for all of the free trials that I sign up for. Like, that's just me, I don't know. Like, I don't know why they're trying to say this place is a scam, but again, like, man, deterring people from getting mental health help, like, I, I don't know, like, if for any of you who've watched my videos, I always say, like, I really don't care. I don't care if you use BetterHelp, because I don't. Like, I just want you to get help, that's it. So if BetterHelp's the right option for you, cool. If not, go see your own doctor or therapist or psychologist. Like, it really doesn't matter. I just want people to get help, but I also just want the right information to be out there. So my girlfriend mentioned that uh, Philip DeFranco had tweeted about this. So he did release some tweets, and I am i don't know, if any of you can comment down below, like, I'm not a 1,000% clear on Philip DeFranco's because 
I'll say this, if you don't trust me, trust Philip DeFranco. Like Philip DeFranco is like the only news source, like one of the only news sources that I trust. And he uses this service. I know Philip DeFranco would not promote something that he doesn't believe in. So when he says he uses it, I trust him. Now, I will say this. I don't, f I, I, I won't even say I don't think, but like I wouldn't be surprised if some of the YouTubers promoting this don't actually use it, right? Like I'll, full disclosure, I don't use it. I don't, my girlfriend does, one of my other friends does, okay, like, but I don't use it. But um, So Philip DeFranco, uh, he, he put a pause on his um, sponsorship of BetterHelp until they fix something in their terms of service. But again, I'm not entirely sure what the issue is. So let me read what he, um, what he put here, okay, it says, we have a whole team that makes sure every provider we bring to the platform is fully licensed and in good standing. Providers who apply are required to uh, provide proper licensure, documentation, proof of identity, and references from other licensed practitioners who have worked with them. We, cro we then cross-check their licensure information with their respective state licensing board. Not only that, our vetting process for each provider which typically takes four to five weeks, goes well beyond checking credentials. For example, each potential provider needs to go through a case study exam by a licensed clinician and a video interview. The result of this rigorous process is that only about 15% of the therapists who apply to work through BetterHelp are being accepted to the platform. The terms of use document typically provides the, legal, uh, the legalized that's word or weird. The legalize that defines the extent of liability and mitigate legal risks associated with such platforms. We recommend every user to make their own due diligence and we provide the full licensing information for each provider so it's easy to do so. We will look into revising the terms of use document so it more closely matches the vetting process we currently conduct. All right, so this is um, what uh, Philip got. Um, and like, so I guess, oh, okay. Now it's, I think the wheels are turning. So I think what Phil's saying, he's got this in an email and maybe it's not on their actual website, which would make sense. Um, but yeah, so that vetting process is legit if that's what they're doing. Now, I, I don't, I don't know, like with an online platform, I don't, I, 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 I'm just, as somebody who's always tried to make sure I don't get sued or fired. Like I used to work in the car service industry, then I worked in the mental health uh, field. Like there's a lot of legal stuff that can go down. Like, like there's a lot, like especially in California, like there are a lot of laws to make sure that people don't get scammed on car repair services. In the mental health field, um, there's something called HIPAA. Well, that's in, you know, just the health field in general. So like, I'm really about covering my own butt. So like, I get language, like, for example, I've seen some people get mad about like medications and the side effects. Like they have to put that there to cover their butt. Even if there's like a 1% chance that you might get explosive diarrhea, they have to say that. They have to tell you that. So anyways, the last thing I'll touch on is in one of the videos I watched, they talked about like the reviews and things like that. Like, I don't know. I don't know about that. I'll just be honest, like maybe, like maybe there is, but then again, I don't I don't think every person that's like smiling with a McDonald's cheeseburger like really thinks McDonald's is the best place on earth. I, I, I don't know. It's just, I really wanted to get on here and just air some things out because I'm all about people getting mental health help. And like, here's the thing. I'll let you know a little bit about the last job I had um, for, for the treatment center, all right? Um, Part of my job was to get reviews, okay? So I worked, at a, I worked at a drug and alcohol rehab. So if you can imagine drug addicts, alcoholics, right? And people sneaking in, you know, drugs or alcohol, um, getting kicked out or not getting their way, you know, because there's a lot of guidelines for being in a treatment center. I've seen people leave the treatment center who got kicked out for bringing things like heroin in and then go on and leave a terrible review. So part of what I did was I tried to get reviews. Now, I never tried to get positive reviews. The way I told people, it says, just leave an honest review. I do not care if you hated the place. I don't care if it's good, bad, or indifferent. That's what I would tell them. I said, just leave an honest review. So for example, if you think the food sucked, but your therapist was great, put that in a review or vice versa, whatever you think it is, right? And I just wanted people to be honest. So like, 
I don't know, like when it comes to reviews and customer service, I just hope that people aren't deterred from this. Like, again, just get help somewhere. Just get help somewhere, but I hope I educated you a little bit about I don't know how the real world works and how some companies work, how therapy works. Like, one more thing, and I'm sorry this is a rant video, but the guy mentioned like the owners of BetterHelp also own other companies. They also run many other websites that range from other mental health websites to Bitcoin sites. They even offered to pay me once in Bitcoin or Ethereum. Oh my God, are you telling me that people are entrepreneurs and investors? What a scam. Like, what are you doing? What, I, I don't know. I don't know, I'm done with this video. I'm not gonna do my whole outro and stuff. Like, I'm just thoroughly irritated. Like, this is just some drama that people are trying to stir up. Like, and you know what, Keemstar, Keemstar's dumb too. So yeah, that's pretty bad. But on top of that, where does this company get all these counselors to deal with all the people that sign up? His video was like, he, he, oh my God. He put so much misinformation. Like, why did he even include it? Why did he even include it in the drama report? Like, he, he said that he did not have all the information. This is what I'm hearing, allegedly. Like, he said that, like, multiple times, but he tries to say, like, oh, they're trying to take advantage of their depressed audience and stuff. Like, Keemstar, you, you, I don't like you. I don't, I don't like you that much. But, um, I don't know. Anyways. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to learn more about mental health and helping yourself out, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And you know, um, leave comments down below if there's any uh, if there's any topics or videos you want me to do about therapy and finding the right therapist and all that. Like, cool. I am I am transparent as possible. Like, I will never lie to any of you. Like. I, I just value honesty way too much. So feel free to ask me anything. Maybe I'll do a whole Q and A, like let's do it. If you wanna put me to the test, if you wanna put me to the test, ask me anything down in the comments below. Maybe that'll make for a good video. All right, but I'm gonna shut my face. I'm gonna edit this, upload it, go to sleep. Love you all, see you later.